is the Mavic Mini about to land in a local store near you? Now, before we jump into this video, remember this is a rumors video and nothing is fact, nothing is set right now. This is just a discussion about what we know so far and I'm gonna be unveiling some new information that I've found while doing a search on the Mavic Mini. I did a video on the Mavic Mini a few months ago showing some of these leaked photos here and as you can see it's got that same Mavic design to it but in a tiny form factor. The only thing that kind of put me off about this is it looks like a very rough production model and also this flap on the back here where the battery slots in looks extremely cheap but that was what we saw months and months ago. You gotta remember that they could have polished it up, they could have completely changed the production model from this point and changed the way that that battery door goes. They obviously also would have covered these panels here, but let's get into it. The Mavic 2 was the last drone, the last consumer drone or even prosumer drone that DJI released into the market. So we haven't seen a consumer drone in years now, like a genuine consumer drone for the budget users out there that don't wanna spend thousands and thousands of dollars on a drone. Now the Mavic 2 Pro is a really fantastic drone. I've done lots of videos on it on my channel so make sure to check that out and let me know what you think in the comments i'd really appreciate that and then we started seeing these pictures surfacing and in my mind this was something that made a lot of sense there are a lot of regulations now that stop pilots from flying if their drone is over 250 grams so i thought it was the smartest thing that any company could do to create a drone that would be under that threshold, something that would weigh under 250 grams, so it was technically a toy, and you wouldn't have to register it in certain countries. Now, that's what it looks like they were doing here. And as we go through some of these pictures, you can see it's extremely small, and comparing it to the Spark, it looks to be even smaller maybe than the Spark, especially when it's gonna be folded up. So these were some of the pictures that we saw, and it got me very excited because I am completely into drones. I absolutely love them. I even have a drone clothing brand if you haven't checked it out called Eye in the Sky Clothing. And this oh, this one just got me really excited. There's a lot of potential for a budget drone in the market and especially for those countries that have those strict regulations now where you have to be licensed if you fly something over 250 grams. I thought this would be the perfect entry level for DJI. They would then have a drone on that budget level uh, that's not the Tello, which is connected to Rise, even though I think that that's probably still a DJI company that they've bought out. And then you've got the Spark. So there's nothing really in between there, and I don't know whether the Mavic Mini will fit in between the Spark and the Tello, or whether it will fit in between the Spark and the Mavic Air. So that's basically where we're at when I did the last video. And then what happened is we noticed that the Federal Communications Commission, the actual listing for the FCC, was released for the Mavic Mini. So you can see here, here's a shot of the Mavic Mini uh, with the FCC ID on the back here and a little bit more information there. And then there's a little bit more information on the remote controller. Now, a lot of different blogs and drone specific forums were really discussing this. So I wanted to look into it a little bit more. And I actually went to the FCCID.io and I started looking through here. And basically we can see here that it's been registered by DJI Technology. You can see that it states Mavic Mini right there. And as we scroll down, there's some more information right here about the FCC ID. Uh, but then as we continue scrolling, which a lot of places didn't really detail this, you can see it's registered by DJI Technology. You can see that it's uh, the FCC.gov and FCC.report is where they got this from. And if you scroll down, you can see there is a Wi-Fi prompt here, a 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi prompt, so that makes me think this is going to be a 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi connection and also a 2.4 gigahertz connection as well potentially. So it could be very similar to what the Mavic Air is in, in that regard. I didn't think they were going to do the OcuSync, seeing as that's more of a high-end kind of technology you would think. But then as we scroll down, there's a few reports and documents that we can click into and see a little bit more about the actual drone itself and a little bit more confirmation, I guess. So this is 
Um, this is about the model itself, so that's what the model number is there, that's the FCC ID. Uh, you can see there's mention of the Mavic Mini there, and then they've got their test laboratory here where they obviously did their tests. There's a lot more information in here. So we've got this report is prepared on behalf of DJI Technology in accordance with part two, do, 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 do. lots and lots of information, right? So if you really want to read through this, you can check it out uh, for yourself. But if I go back, there was some more information in here. So we actually have a confidentiality letter. And I believe that this means that they didn't want it to be listed on the official FCC site. Uh, until the announcement date. Confidentiality request regarding application for uh, certification of this one, which is the same model number again. So the same model number uh, corresponds with all of these different documents that have been submitted. Again, the same people involved, that's the project manager there. Uh, Short-term confidentiality, no. Permanent confidentiality, no. Um, but obviously they wanted it to be a little bit quiet and they didn't want too much I guess attention on them about this um, but then if I look into this one here you can see again this picture here links up with this picture that's getting spread around so it's that same model number the same FCC ID and then they've got the label location of where they're going to print it and these are basically all the logistics that DJI need to pass with the FCC which is the Federal Communications Commission and it's all basically in here. So again, like this could be an elaborate thing that someone has created and then posted, but there's just too much in here for it to be not an actual thing. Like it just seems so legitimate. Um, you can even go through like frequency band declaration right here. And again, the same people involved. It's all registered through DJI. This is the declaration about 2.4 gigahertz and 5G. So there's the four, four, four frequency bands. Uh, right there as you can see uh, the products sold in US are programmed and locked to work only in those frequencies so again project manager involved uh, you've got a bit more information about it's going to be 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz as well what does this mean though does this mean that the Mavic Mini is just around the corner again it's hard to say this could all just be hearsay this could all just be rumors there's nothing set in stone right now about what's going on but you can see right here We've got even more information about the Mavic Mini, again the FCC number, and um, and the name of the grantee, which is DJI. So potentially, we could be seeing a Mavic Mini on the horizon. And based on this right here, based on this design, it looks very, very similar to the Mavic body. It looks like we have some sensors here, which is something that the Spark didn't have, and also from kind of what the rumors are suggesting so far you would think that it would have a better camera than the spark as well I don't really want to talk to some of the other rumors I just kind of want to talk from my experiences and my understanding of where the drone industry is going and how a business would kind of approach a new product line that's going to slot in between the spark and the Mavic Air now a lot of rumors are saying it will shoot 4k 30 but you know it's it's a hard one to say because 4K 30 is what the Mavic 2 Pro and Mavic 2 Zoom and the Mavic Air shoot in. So that's a higher end, more expensive drone. And the Spark on the other hand only shoots in 1080p. So it's highly likely that we will see an improvement from the Spark. So maybe 2.7K at 30 frames per second. But will we see 4K 30? It's hard to say, maybe, maybe not. Again, it really depends on how they wanna go about this, whether it's capable, such a small drone to shoot 4K 30, which I believe it is and whether they really want to eat into that market share or whether they maybe see the potential of this being a big seller for them. Also, the rumors are saying a 12 megapixel camera. Again, hard to say, we have no idea. But when you actually get a close up of the camera itself, which I don't actually think I've got any shots loaded here. Oh, here we go, you can kind of see it here. Um, looks very similar to the Mavic Air camera. And again, we saw the Osmo Pocket recently a very similar kind of camera design there. So it could be that technology in a smaller device, very, very likely. In terms of price, again, very hard to say. Flight time, hard to comment on that, as well as a few other things. But one thing that's really important to notice 
is that they actually have got the remote controller registered through the FCC as well. So that's really promising seeing as the Spark was released without a controller and then you had the option to buy a controller. So I'd really love to see them offer this as a drone that actually features a controller, whether they just release the drone as a separate unit and then they have a kit that includes the controller as well. Again, hard to say, I have no idea, but it's just very exciting because we haven't seen a new drone from DJI in a very long time. And something of this caliber, something this small and something that will sneak underneath those regulations and allow people to fly their drones without having to register it, that is really exciting to me. I love the drone community and it excites me that there's potential growth and potential that more people can get their hands on a really solid budget drone. Like this could be the best budget drone on the market if all goes through and everything obviously works out and this is a real thing. But I guess that's the end of the video guys, so let me know what you think in the comments below. Is this going to happen? Are we going to be seeing a Mavic Mini before the end of the year? Or is this just all hearsay, rumor, speculation? Is this just all fabricated and it's not real? Let me know in the comments. I would love to start a discussion in the comments about the Mavic Mini. And that's it. So make sure to subscribe and smash that notification bell if you want to be notified on upcoming Mavic Mini, potentially, videos on the channel. Lots of other drone content and camera content, of course, coming to the channel very soon. Uh, but that's it. So have a great day. Make sure to, yeah, appreciate the people around you. <laughs> that's it. Love you guys and peace out.